everyone, my name is Beach Hofer Wilson and here's another photo shoot breakdown. Now for this opportunity, I had the amazing opportunity to again work with two-time Olympic long jumper, Lorraine Ugin of Great Britain. Now for this opportunity, I got to photograph her new clothing line, Unsigned Clothing, which I love for so many reasons. One, the quality is amazing. Two, you can tell that this is actually created out of love. And three, I love that she's using her brand to bring awareness to a major issue for track and field professional athletes because there are so many athletes who are Olympians, who are professional athletes, who have world class standing that do not have any sponsorship. So I love that she is creating a platform and using this brand and using this line to actually stir up the conversation and hopefully that it will lead to making change for these athletes. Now let's get into the photo shoot details. Now as you guys can see in the images and the behind the scenes videos, we did a lot of setups but I really want to highlight how we created the images on my favorite, the full concrete wall in studio. Now for my setup, I used my Canon R5. I was tethered to Capture One and as you guys can see in the behind the scenes, we used my ultimate tethering bundle which I absolutely recommend because it works great for your subjects as well as your client as well as you being the photographer. Now let's get into the lighting. So for my lighting, I use the OCF Beauty Dish with the diffuser. For my fill light, I use a parabolic umbrella with a diffuser as well. And then for my rim light, I use the softbox aimed towards the subject. Now, because I knew that I wanted to shoot on the faux concrete wall and because we were highlighting the clothing, I actually wanted to create a look to where the background looked blurry. So of course I had to adjust my depth of field and there's numerous ways that you guys can do that whenever you're shooting in studio. Now, first things first, adjust your aperture. Whenever I shoot in studio, I always have my aperture at a minimum eight. And again, at a minimum eight, because the higher your aperture, the sharper your images are. But because I knew that I actually wanted to blur out the background and I wanted to have a nice separation between the subject and the background, I lowered my aperture all the way down to 3.5. Now with me adjusting my aperture from F8 all the way to F3.5, I actually had to adjust my lighting so that the power wasn't too high and the images wouldn't be too blown out. Another thing that I did to create more of that depth of field look was I actually moved my subject away from the background. So whenever your subject is close up on the background, it's hard to create that distance between them. So me moving my subject away from the background allowed me to create another level of that depth of field to lower the depth of field. So not only am I using a lower aperture, but also there is distance between the subject and the background, which will reduce the depth of field as well. And now the last thing I did was I used my favorite telephoto lens, my 70 to 200. Now, whenever you use your zoom lens, it's going to lessen the depth of field. And as you guys can see in the behind the scenes video, I was trying to create as much distance between me and the subject. So whenever I zoomed into the photo, it would actually lower the depth of field where the background will be blurry again. And as you guys can see in this full body and the mid body image, both images still have a blurred background because I use those different tips. So if you're trying to create this low depth of field blurred background look in studio, you one, want to make sure that you're lowering your aperture. And of course you're going to have to compensate your lowered aperture with lowering the power of your lights. Two, you want to create that distance between your subject as well as the background. And three, you want to create that distance between yourself and the subject and use a telephoto lens to reduce your depth of field. So I hope that this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and go out there, be fearless and create.